Hello and welcome to the Capra Audio Ouroboros Speaker Capsule Assembly video. I'm going to go over step by step how to assemble the speaker capsules for the Ouroboros closed back set of headphones. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to modify the driver a little bit. It's a two speaker driver or coaxial with a ring radiator. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take that center speaker and we're going to completely remove the two wires that connect it. We're not actually going to use it as a speaker. We're disconnecting it in order to use it as a passive radiator for the internal chamber. This affects the sound drastically. It smooths out the mids. So we definitely don't want to keep that connected. So go ahead and remove the two cables I already have here in this example because I didn't feel like buying an extra set of drivers just to shoot a video. The next thing we're going to want to do is this capacitor. So there's a capacitor that goes from the main lead to the ring radiator speaker on the outside. We're going to go ahead and desolder and remove that. Be very careful not to accidentally rip off the solder pads like I did here. As you can see I ripped off the solder pad off of this one because I wasn't gentle. Not that I ever am. So once you have those two wires removed and this capacitor removed. You can leave those two resistors on there. It's not going to matter because they're not going to be in the chain. Or I believe that's a resistor and a capacitor, but I digress. So once that's off, we're going to want to go ahead and block off that back port. So we'll take our 3M, preferably 3M because the blends change, of micropore tape. We're going to cut off a tiny little square of it. Just a tiny one, not a, not a huge one, just big enough that this rear vent, we can go ahead and block that off with that, muffle it a little bit. This tames the mid base drastically. This is what gives it its actual good tuning. That was the last step that it took for me to actually go from prototype to final phase was blocking off that rear vent. Okay, so now that we have that in place, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna get our connectors all soldered up. So I'm using mini XLR in this case, and in which case I put the positive lead to pin one, the negative lead to pin three. That's pretty standard. You can bridge two and three together because they're both technically negative. I never do because I haven't had a problem with the cables uh, compatibility on that end. So I just do positive to one and then negative to three. So once those are soldered together, we're gonna go ahead and take our main housing, or rear ring, as I sometimes call it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our soldering iron, our six heat set inserts, M3 by five. I'll wait until that's heated up. Clean that off. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert our five heat inserts for the main housing for the for the main assembly boop let's get the nice side three And you're going to want to push these in until they're flush. You don't want them sticking out any, because if they're sticking out any, the gasket won't seal properly. And you'll get an increase in base in all the wrong places, and it's not going to sound good. Alright, and so for the final one, for the sixth heat set insert, this hole to the right, or to the outside, towards the flat side, this is the tuning port, and we're going to go ahead and put an M3 by five heat insert in here and this actually controls the base elevation it gives it just enough rear pressure that allows the base to even out and be smooth all throughout the lower frequencies okay so now that all that's in place that's hot as fuck so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna take a longer M3 screw while well, this is still nice and toasty and I'm actually going to screw it into this heat set insert two 
my trusty little iFixit screwdriver. I'm just gonna thread this all the way in, all the way past the edge, so we can see it poking out the other side there. And this is just getting all that plastic, all that melted plastic out of the way that I smooshed up in there by using this cheap Chinese heat set insert that's slightly, I think it's like 5.4 millimeters wide, and it's supposed to be 5, so it's like way bigger. But that, that this ensures that that 3 millimeter hole for the M3 screw, or for the M3 insert, is actually 3 millimeters on the inside as well as the outside. So I'll go ahead and put this back. All right, so now the main housing's done. I'm not gonna do it on screen, but this is the part where we go ahead and put the connector into place, and you're gonna wanna do a, a generous amount of super glue around the edge of the connectors so that it gets a nice seal right there. It, it doesn't have to be a perfect seal, but it does have to be a decent seal. And that's just because the amount of air that can actually get past those threads is very minimal. Okay, so once that's glued into place, the next step is we're going to take this Geekrio tuning foam, a circular one that's on the bill of materials. We'll go ahead and place that in the base behind the wires. Okay, now for now, now where it gets up in difficulty. So we're going to take this driver retention ring and we're going to pop it onto the driver. Make sure that sits nice and flush in there. Should be an interference fit. If it's too loose, you're going to have problems. You're going to need to tune your printer and print this part again. That goes with uh, the rest of the parts going forward. If any of these are too loose, too small, too big, you're going to run into problems with seal, and then it's going to affect the tuning, and you're going to have a bad day. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this on here, because it doesn't hurt to solder this thing 300 times. It only broke three of my drivers so far. But soldering them 20 to 30 times but if you only do it once or twice you're fine so the negative lead goes to the left of the PVC PCB there and the positive lead goes to this inside one that the capacitor used to be connected to there let me get you a nice closer look at that maybe okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the gasket, now that's just the creme de la creme, this is what keeps everything nice, sealed and in place. We're going to put it down, it only fits one way, I put those little notches in there so no one could fuck that up. And then we're going to slot the speaker into the gasket. Takes a little persuasion because it is flexible. There we go. Okay. Uh, sitting like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn this 10 micropore nylon mesh. I get the tea bags version because it's reliable and cheap in the United States. Rip people in Europe. It's a lot harder to find this material there, but it is important that it is the 10 micron nylon mesh. It allows the correct amount of pressure out of the front of the driver, as well as back into that passive radiator. So I'm just cutting off the thick edges here so that we can fold this out flat. And take this baffle material retention ring, which is a mouthful. I'm gonna trace it out with my handy dandy pilot V5. Love these pens. We got like 30 of them. I've broken almost all of them. Okay, and we're gonna cut out, going slightly, slightly smaller. than the actual outside diameter of that baffle material retention ring. I 
I know this is the most riveting entertainment right now. You have never seen a video grab your attention quite as much as a man cutting a tea bag into the shape of a circle. I gotta tell you, I'm sweating. I'm so nervous. What if I, what, what, what if I if I mess this up? What if I turn the circle into a square? I'm gonna look like a goof. Look like a gaff. Uh, okay, I need to sharpen these scissors. This is some dull ass scissors. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Aha! And like that, one of my favorite bands, a perfect circle. All right, we're gonna take the grill, place it down first, place the nylon mesh over that, and then take the baffle material retention ring and place that down over top of that. And it retains the baff baffle material. Voila, all right. And then we're gonna take the pad mount, place it over top of that. And then we're going to put in the M3 screws by whatever length that's listed in the bomb, I don't remember. Uh, screw those in, screw all five of those in, do it in a tire pattern or a star pattern. So do this one first, then this one, then that one, then this one, then that one. Making sure that it's snug, but not too tight. Uh, the material, the, the materials should prevent you from tightening it too far down, but if you're, uh, if, if you make it out of PLA like this, it will break if you tighten it way too much, in which case you just print a new part. But anyway, that's the right speaker capsule. Uh, just mirror this for the left speaker capsule, assemble the headband, put it all together, and you'll have a fully built Ouroboros set of headphones. Have a great day.